Greetings, this is Captain Rex, and you're watching Star Wars Nut 77, home of the Star Wars memorabilia reviews. How you doing Star Wars fans? My name is John and welcome back to another Star Wars review. This episode I'll be reviewing the brand new Gentle Giant 12 inch Boba Fett. This is part of their 12 inch uh, vintage line of figures, what they call jumbo line of figures. Uh, this is different than the other two Boba Fetts that they've released prior to this. Before they had one on Emperor Strikes Back card that was uh, Star Wars Celebration 5 exclusive I believe and that was cool because it was on Emperor Strikes Back card. Then uh, about a year ago or so, they released uh, Bubble Fett with Rocket Firing Backpack that was on a Star Wars, original Star Wars backing, and that was available to anyone. That's a cool piece as well. What this is, this is what they call the prototype version of uh, Bubble Fett. So he's unpainted. And a little backstory about this figure itself. Um, in the earlier versions of Star Wars, when the figures came out by Kenner, uh, they had little things they were promoting. And this is back in the 19, you know, late 70s, 77, 78, when the movie just came out. And there was a little sticker here, or actually not a sticker, but a piece here. It says, uh, free Bubba Fett. And this is pre before Empire Strikes Back even hit the screen, before anyone really knew about it. Bubba Fett himself as a character made his debut in the Star Wars Holiday Special. That was a made-for-TV movie that, uh, if you ever get an opportunity to see it, I recommend it. It's very, very cheesy. I know Lucas, George Lucas, just despises the whole thing. He hates it. Uh, but there are copies floating around. I have a copy of it as well. Um, now that Disney owns Star Wars, maybe they'll release on DVD, who knows. But it did feature a lot of the guests and a lot of the stars from Star Wars, A New Hope, uh, Harrison Ford, Mac Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, etc. There's singing, Jefferson Starship is in it. Uh, there's some other acts. It's kind of a variety TV show. But in that, there was a, about a 20-minute cartoon that did feature Boba Fett, and this was back in 1978. So um, they wanted to promote it, and they, they really didn't know uh, whether he had... a uh, Backpack, jetpack, or a rocket firing backpack, etc. So what Kenner did is they did a promotion. You basically uh, you send in four proof of purchases, and uh, you basically can get a uh, Boba Fett. And on the back here, uh, if you look closely, you can see that they're promoting it that it fires, jetpack fires, uh, rocket firing, and the versions. There were some prototypes that were released for this figure. It's considered what they call a holy grail for Star Wars collecting today. So if you have a legitimate retro like a vintage legitimate copy of uh, pro prototype Star Wars Boba Fett with rocket firing backpack it's worth a ton of money there are a lot of copies and clones out there so you have to be careful uh, Hasbro years back several years back released a uh, re-release of it too so you have to be careful with that as well okay but anyway uh, it's a really cool piece what they really didn't have the colors painted it's a prototype so he's pretty much plain in color the reason that um, Kenner decided to pull the plug on the rocket firing backpack they actually, when it did come out, as most of you guys know, when Bubba Fett came out, he you can't fire it. Um, there, you can if you look closely at your Bubba Fett vintage one, you'll see that there's like a trigger, but it's actually glued in there. The piece is glued in there. And the reason they did that because, in the same time, uh, Battlestar Galactica, there was a figure that had a firing piece. A kid choked on it and died. So uh, Kenner was very apprehensive about releasing something like that. Didn't want to get sued. There was a lot of regulations out there with the toy industry that they said, you know, you can't do that anymore. So uh, they put an axe to it. So if, they, if, like I said before, if you have a, a legitimate copy of prototype Bubba Fett, it's worth a ton of money. But what's cool about this piece I'm about to show you is uh, General Giant decided to release it on the vintage jumbo scale, on a 12-inch scale, which is cool. This is available th pr only for uh, what they call Premier Guild members. And what that is, it's a membership you, you pay for, and it's about $70 to $80 a year to join. You get 10% off all your purchases the whole year, which is, uh, you, if you purchase a lot of figures like I do on the site, uh, it definitely get your money back, but you also get a free figure to choose from. This is one of the figures to choose from that I got, um, and they have some really cool uh, mini bus, Star Wars mini bus, and not just Star Wars items. They have Hobbit and Marvel. It's a great company. Um, love their products, but uh, this this is only available and is only available for uh, the Premier Guild. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't think this is available anymore, uh, at least through their website. I'm sure you can get it on secondary markets like eBay. 
Uh, and this is what it comes with. It comes with a bag, it has a nice Kenner logo on it. Gentle Giant Limited 2013 Premier Guild exclusive every year. They come out with an exclusive. This remind me of the packing they did for the Blue Snaggletooth that came out several years back, I believe uh, last year, 2012, they released a Blue Snaggletooth. That was a Comic-Con exclusive, but they also sold it at uh, Star Wars Celebration 6 when I attended uh, last year. So that's a cool Bluetooth uh, Snaggletooth figure. Uh, but let's open this up. Uh, it comes with plastic here. Let's just open this up, take a look. All right, and the writing itself is actually on the plastic, the Kenner. It's not on this uh, white cardboard uh, box, just to let you guys know. This sleeve, just, this cardboard sleeve just comes right off. Here it is. This is a closer look at uh, Boba Fett uh, rocket firing backpack. Uh, as you can see, uh, he's unpainted, which is, fits the prototype uh, look. He's got his blaster. He's also got his uh, rocket. Uh, They've come to find out when Return Jedi came out, it wasn't a rocket firing backpack that he had. It was actually a jetpack that he flew with. So uh, again, this was coming out before they really knew too much about uh, Bubba Fett as a character as a whole. Uh, he's skinnier than a lot of uh, the other 12 inch uh, jumbo figures that uh, General Giant has released. Skinnier, I mean, as in the package design is a lot skinnier. It's a lot more narrow. The other ones are a lot more wide. Um, what else? It's a first shot is what they call it, the first shot. This is the first version of uh, a Bubble Fett. I'm unsure how many of these they actually released or produced. I don't know. Usually they kind of say how many they release. A lot of these uh, vintage jumbo figures they release are limited to about a thousand or less, but I'm not sure how many of these are available. Uh, but since it's Bubble Fett and since he's a pretty popular character in the Star Wars universe, I imagine this is a pretty popular figure to, to want to get by a lot of collectors. Um, and if you didn't, if you didn't get this through the Premier Guild when as your free gift, um, you, this was available for Premier Guild members uh, at eighty dollars or around that price. So that's a pretty good deal uh, for this. Uh, anyway, on the back, pardon the glare, you can see it has a story about uh, the the jumbo action figure, one of the holy grails of toy collecting world, incredibly rare and hard to find. First shot rocket firing uh, Boba Fett figure. The only evidence of what could have been. The original Bubba Fett figure was never released with its rocket firing features due to safety concerns. No finished versions of the functional figure are known to exist, and only a few of the original one color injection molded figures prototypes have ever been seen outside of the Kenner factory. These pieces are highly sought after by collectors and have uh, fetched incredible prices on the secondary markets. So we're talking about thousands, thousands of dollars for this one figure, which is incredible. But in the very bottom, you can see there's other figures that are available. Uh, they're right now they're in the middle of releasing the Empire Strikes Back line of figures. Uh, it's got Kenner, which is great, in the Giant Giants uh, Limited website .com, uh, Hasbro, right? So let's open this up and see uh, how the figure actually works. Okay, so one thing I've mentioned before in these reviews for the Jumbo uh, Retro for line of figures by General Giant is that uh, they I love the fact that they're resealable, meaning that these clamshells actually seal up again. You can these backs actually come out. And so if you're a collector, you can kind of take them out, mess with them a little bit, put them back in and keep them in the case, which is nice, keep them in good condition, which is, I think is a great idea by Gentle Giant. So let's start off with the card back real quick. You can see here's a card back. Very vintage style. Here's a closer look at the back I showed you a little earlier. A little story about uh, Boba Fett and the prototype first shot version. Here, let me show you what uh, it looked like back in the late 70s, these figures, these card backs. This is what I was talking about here. And then you can see here, this is kind of shows you how they, they, the rocket firing uh, backpack never came to be. Here's a closer look at the figure himself. He stands really nicely, which is fantastic. This is the same mold that they've used for the other uh, Boba Fett's. Uh, one thing I love about General Giant is what they do is they scan, digitally scan the original figures and they blow them up to a 12 inch scale. I'll show you what I mean. The attention detail is amazing. Here's the copyright 1979, Hong Kong, so that's back on, that's what there was on the original figure. The very bottom here, these are peg holes. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, General Giant's here. I don't know how well you can read that, but this is how the rocket actually works. It looks like this. You just plug it in or pop it in here. You have a latch here, you can uh, latch it like this, lock it in place, make sure he stands up. And all you do is hit this latch. 
bam, there you go. Uh, and it fires. So pretty cool. And just put it back in and you just go like this. And you lock it in and it stays in there pretty good. Make sure you don't stick it upside down because he will fall, the, the rocket will fall out upside down. It's in there pretty loose. Okay, so that's, that's one thing. But if you stand upright, you hit it, it launches. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this particular figure. Uh, what other 12 inch figures would you like to see made by Jones Giant as part of the vintage line of figures? Uh, you can keep in touch with me at, on Twitter under at Star Wars Net 77. Also on Facebook, Star Wars Net 77. I'll put links below. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Appreciate you guys liking this video as well to help let people know about it. Thank you very much, and may the force be with you. You guys take care.